So right now I'm looking at the electrolyte minerals. Where a lot of people get lost with this test is that it shows you calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium. And so when you first look at this, you would say, oh, I'm taking in too much sodium, potassium and a pretty good amount of calcium and magnesium. But electrolytes get excreted based on levels of stress, and that is exactly what we're looking at. So what we see is sometimes someone's a four high and there's a really high level of electrolytes. It doesn't mean you're taking in too many electrolytes. What it means is that there is a high level of stress in the body and a very large amount of excretion. So as your body is under stress, it literally will pull calcium from your bones. One of the biggest reasons for osteoporosis. It will begin to increase a hormone called aldosterone. Like on yours, Michael, you have elevated sodium. So the hormone aldosterone is elevated typically when cortisol levels get elevated. So it's a really nice window into potentially what's going on with your adrenals. When aldosterone gets elevated under stress, your body holds sodium and excretes potassium and we do see a higher level of potassium. So this does not mean don't take in sodium potassium. Actually, you would be someone, especially with your body type being more of the Vata body type, you will always run a little bit. Again, this is not the nocebo effect. The body type is more prone towards weight loss. It's more prone towards being lean. It's also more prone to a racing mind, a little bit more anxiety, but that doesn't mean that it can't be balanced with a Vata pacifying routine, which is what we're going to talk about. So your sodium levels, potassium levels, we actually want a little bit more sodium and potassium in your diet. There's nothing wrong with using electrolytes or a natural electrolyte like a squeeze of lime and a pinch of sea salt in your water throughout the day. Again, nothing wrong with that. But what this does show is there is a larger amount of stress in the body and potentially leading towards muscle loss or more catabolism, maybe even hair loss because your body is under a higher level of stress and maybe even oxidative stress.